Hello, my name is Jerry Almendara, the superintendent of Santa Ana Unified School District. I'd like to take this opportunity to provide our community an update specifically related to three areas that we're getting the most questions about. One being the meal distribution, uh, the second being the academic expectations in relationship to the curriculum packets that have been going out, and the third is the April 13th return date. In regards to the food distribution, our number one priority is to make sure our students are fed. As a result, early on in this crisis, the decision was made to distribute food five days a week, twice a day, at 13 different locations throughout the district. However, with the governor's recent stay-at-home order, the decision was made to reduce the number of nutritional workers preparing the food, allowing us only to distribute the meals two times a week. However, during those distribution times, we are issuing multiple meals, breakfast and lunch, for the remainder of the week. And please, the meals are for kids. If you have no children, please. We only have a limited number of supplies, and we want to make sure our students are a priority. Now I'd like to address the instructional packets that have been sent home with the kids. We received a lot of questions from students and parents about the impact that these packets uh, could potentially have on a student's final grade and possibly the impact it might have on graduation. Well, I just want everybody to be reassured that these packets are considered supplemental material and they will not impact the student's grade negatively. And the last thing I'd like to address is the April 13th return date. There have been a lot of questions from the community, from our staff asking, are we returning on April 13th? And quite honestly, that's a difficult question to answer at this point in time, considering the trends that are happening in our region, in our county specifically, and what our responsibility is as a district to make sure that our students and our communities are safe. We will be looking at the April 13th return date this week, and I expect to have an answer for the public by Friday, whether that deadline will be extended. The other questions that we're getting has a lot to do with graduation and end of the year ceremonies. And the consideration that, again, that we're taking when making these decisions is, is it good practice to have large groups of people in confined areas? And that includes graduations at the high schools and any other promotional ceremonies, in addition to any other celebratory ceremonies that we have at the school sites for various student recognitions. So please know that we are taking all of this information into consideration. We are monitoring the news feeds on a daily basis in communication with the health department, and we hope to have a, an answer to you very shortly. Thank you very much. Have a good day.